The problem with Blizzard Entertainment is they really struggle to make a good game anymore. Don't you guys think? Overwatch 2 is just a copy-paste of the original game. Diablo Immortal was a complete dumpster fire with its microtransactions allowing you to quite literally pay to win the game. World of Warcraft has been a joke for some time now, and overall the mood in the community is that Blizzard has just completely lost their touch. And if nothing else, they certainly have lost their touch with connecting with their audience. You guys, me, and all of us. Now many of you sitting here are probably ready to comment, or have already left a comment, that WoW is a dead game. Move on, it's over. But I wouldn't say that just yet. In fact, I would say that we who remain, those of us holding on to the last shreds of hope, are perhaps on the precipice of World of Warcraft's final stand. But before we get into this video and what the possible future and the end of this game is going to look like, we have to thank today's sponsor. This video was sponsored by Bloodline Heroes of Lithis. Are you ready for a new strategic card-based mobile RPG game set within a rich fantasy universe of orcs, elves, lichens, and demons? Then my friends, this game may just be for you. If you are ready, click the link down below in the description and prepare yourself because welcome to Bloodline Heroes of Lithis. Featuring beautiful 3D graphics, action-packed gameplay, fast-paced combat, easy to use controls, and a unique air system. Collect a large variety of champions as you play the game. Make them more powerful over time, and then marry some of them together, combining their traits and skills through Bloodline's legacy system to create new champions, ready to be raised and prepared for the fires of Bloodline's rich world. And with your roster of champions now in hand, embark on this grand adventure to become the leader of the City of Light, the High Guardian, in the world of Lithus. This game has just been released to the public, so if you would like to check it out, again, click the link down below in the description or scan the QR code on your screen right now. And if you decide to delve into the adventures of Bloodline, why not use my promo code BLDHOL1 to get you started with a champion token, 100,000 gold, and 100 free diamonds. Whether you're a fan of collecting heroes, legacy systems and video games, action-packed combat, or just managing your own population in a fantasy universe, Bloodline Heroes of Lithus has much to offer to anybody who is ready to check out a new and epic mobile adventure. I remember being a young Nixium, laying in bed many days, thinking about what the end of World of Warcraft might look like. I loved WoW, the universe, the lore, raiding with my friends, role-playing, doing PvP, all of it. The game just felt so perfect with its community, full of inside jokes, caring developers, and future expansions to always look forward to. I remember wondering how it would all end. Would I move on and just grow bored of Azeroth, or would the game ultimately reach its end on its own? And if so, how? I always assumed it would be at the hands of another MMO, perhaps a Star Wars MMORPG, if I had to guess at the time. Never would I have imagined that World of Warcraft's death would come at the hands of the very company that created it. Like a child, Blizzard seemed to nurture this game, its universe and community, so the idea of the company neglecting something that brought to them so much success seemed far-fetched and ridiculous. And yet here we are, facing the reality that World of Warcraft might just be at its end. Dragonflight is on the horizon for launch this year, according to the recent announcements. Turns out the video I made recently on the release date potentially being leaked was wrong, so don't crucify me in the comment section over that. And we also have Wrath of the Lich King releasing soon, which many classic players have said will be their final expansion. Let's be honest, not too many people care about World of Warcraft past the death of everybody's favorite Warcraft 3 character, Arthas Menethil, the Lich King. So as you can see, we're in a little bit of a situation here. Shadowlands was a terrible expansion that drove away so many from World of Warcraft to games like Final Fantasy, Elder Scrolls Online, Star Wars The Old Republic, and other games. And if Dragonflight isn't a decent expansion full of fun and flavor to draw back in that lost population and rehook them to the adventures of Azeroth, then World of Warcraft Retail is going to officially be sunk. Now sure, there's still gonna be people that are gonna play it, but it will be nowhere near what it used to be in the past or even nowhere near where it was over the past few years in terms of population. Legion will have been Retail WoW's last big boom. Now for what it's worth, I do think Dragonflight could be a good expansion. Maybe. 
It has a relatively simple down-to-earth and grounded story about going to a mysterious dragon island to fight classic World of Warcraft enemies we know and love, Centaur make an appearance, we see the Tuskar from Wrath of the Lich King, and of course, we're probably going to be killing a lot of evil dragons, I would expect. The story seems simple, one of exploration, adventure, and dragon riding and slaying. Newt doesn't love a good story about going to kill a dragon. Anyone here a fan of The Hobbit by chance? Can't wait for Amazon to ruin Lord of the Rings. It's gonna be great. Blizzard seems to be focusing on what works with Dragonflight. A simple storyline, classic fantasy, no real major changes or game breaking ideas like garrisons. And what ideas they do have, they've stolen from other games like Guild Wars 2, AKA Dragon Flying. And as we all know, Blizzard is at their best when they are stealing ideas from other companies. Isn't that right, Games Workshop, Team Fortress 2, and you guys get the idea. But guys, Dragonflight is gonna have a lot to salvage. And let's be real, Shadowlands storytelling was complete ass, boring and forgettable. And so Dragonflight needs to deliver something epic and memorable. Where Shadowlands had repetitive and dull features like Torghast, Dragonflight's content will need to be engaging and worth boasting over. And lastly, where Shadowlands added little in terms of creativity to World of Warcraft, Dragonflight's patch cycle will need to add more and more and more to the game to really entice players to keep playing, committing to the expansion, and having fun. And now we have Wrath of the Lich King on the other hand, and that's a whole other story. Obviously, Wrath is considered World of Warcraft in its prime by many people across the globe. So it's only natural we're gonna see a boom in Classic WoW's population size once the Wrath servers go live. Veteran players will return, committed Classic players will jump ship from TBC, people who never played Wrath will check it out, Overall, the release should be successful. Death Knights, Northrend, the Lich King. There's a lot to look forward to. Classic fans are even getting a treat of Blizzard listening to the feedback over the past few years, deciding to keep LFD out of Wrath of the Lich King, despite its introduction into the game during this time. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. No more LFG spam. Naxxramas is apparently getting buffed. We are going to see an entirely new Wrath of the Lich King that is sure to win the hearts of many players worldwide, at least hopefully. But what happens next? Will Classic WoW just die after Wrath? Well, in my recent video, Classic Plus could be the future of World of Warcraft, I went over exactly what I feel and what many people feel needs to be done in order to keep the Classic population alive and healthy after Wrath's release and hopefully its success. If you'd like to check out that video, you can just click right up here because judging by all the positive praise that that video received, I think you're gonna enjoy it. At least, I think you'll enjoy what I and so many of us have suggested in regards to a future Classic Plus experience. So in conclusion, if Dragonflight fails to make an impact on the souls of potential World of Warcraft players worldwide, Retail WoW is over. No King rules forever, and WoW will officially just slowly trickle down into oblivion. Maybe the expansion after Dragonflight could save the game? But if Dragonflight goes down as a terrible expansion, I, I, if the expansion fails, I think what funding will go into the next expansion, especially after Shadowlands, I don't think the, the funding is gonna be there for another big expansion after Dragonflight, but I don't know. And there's Wrath of the Lich King, and yeah, sure, Wrath will probably be a big success for classic World of Warcraft and its community, but what happens next? Most of us don't really wanna play Cataclysm, or Warlords of Draenor, Battle for Azeroth, and all that stuff. So it's either keep the expansions coming out or commit maybe to the funding and the idea of making a completely overhauled Classic Plus experience, giving to us updated new feature filled classic stuff that will blow the minds of even those of us who have played through Classic multiple times. I mean, what else are they gonna do? Either way, all I'm really trying to say is this guys, this is perhaps the last breath of World of Warcraft. Everything hinges on whether or not Dragonflight delivers and what happens after Wrath of the Lich King. I never thought laying in my bed all those years ago that this moment would come. Here it is. I can't even make a proper prediction on what is to come. <laughs> I can only hope that maybe, just maybe, my favorite game still has a few surprises left in store for us. Prizes that will ignite the same wonder in me today the game did all those years ago when I first was adventuring Azeroth, Outland, and Northrend, making a name for myself in this epic fantasy universe. I grew to love. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Please give it a like, leave a comment on what you think the future of World of Warcraft might look like, and I will see you all with my next video.